Several school districts in our area have already announced plans to push back the start of in person class until after Labor Day. And tonight, the area's largest district, Olathe, is spelling out its plan for the coming school year. KCTV5 is your school authority, and Abby Dodge is live tonight in Olathe, where the school board is meeting. Abby. Ellen, we just stepped out of that school board meeting and what they were talking about were cleaning procedures for in person learning. Starting Monday, families here in Olathe are going to decide what learning environment is best for them and their family. Right now, there are only two options. It's in person or online learning. Now, yesterday we told you about the Kansas State Board of Education's decision to not enact the executive order from Governor Laura Kelly. That would have pushed back the start date until after Labor Day for all districts. Now the decision is up to lo local education boards. They haven't talked about the calendar yet here tonight, but that is on the agenda. The main focus of today's meeting so far has been what online and in-person learning is going to look like. The district started off by saying the plans they are talking about tonight will evolve, possibly even before the start of school. Right now, there are just two clear-cut options. Families are choosing between two things. And one is committing to remote for a full semester. The second option really is that they're committing to starting in person if we start that way. They're committing to starting hybrid if we start that way. Or if we would start the whole system remote, they're committing to starting that way as well. We've got a crew inside the board meeting and we're going to give you updates on what the board decides for students here in Olathe tonight at 10. Live in Olathe, Abby Dodge, KC TV5 News.